In this video, we're going to look at the force of magnetism. What we're going to cover in the video is magnets and magnetism, how to draw field diagrams, some ways in which we use magnets in society, and the magnetic field of the Earth. Going a couple of videos back, we talked about contact forces and non-contact forces. Magnetism is an example of a non-contact force that can work as an attraction or a repulsion, so a pull or a push, over a distance. And we call the distance that the magnetism works over the field of influence. So magnets have two poles, a north pole and a south pole. Most magnets that you use, the north pole will be marked. And it might be marked in red, it might just have a stamp with N or a stamp with a dot showing you which one the north pole. There's two different types of magnets that we use. Permanent magnets are magnets that are made of iron, nickel or cobalt, so three different metals. And they are always magnetic. They stay magnetic the whole time. They can't be turned off. Electromagnets, on the other hand, can be turned on and off and require electricity to be used. Common through all magnets is that opposite poles attract. So if you have a south pole and a north pole and you bring them together, they'll be attracted to each other. And that like poles repel. So if you have two norths, they'll repel, be pushed away from each other, or two souths will also repel each other and push each other away. With magnets and other non-contact forces, we can draw the field of influence using a technique called field diagrams. With field diagrams, we draw the object and then we show the field of influence around it by drawing lines. Now there's a couple of rules for these lines. As always in science, we draw in pencil and also we never touch the lines. So the lines never cross or touch each other. The lines have arrows on them that go from north to the south pole of the magnet. And that's because the lines actually signify where a north pole of a magnet, if you put it at any point on the page, which direction that north pole would be pushed. So as we previously said, if we have two north poles near each other, it'll be pushed away. And if we have the North Pole and the South Pole near each other, it'll be pulled towards. So we have the arrows going away from the North Pole and towards the South Pole. Another thing when drawing field diagrams is that areas of a stronger magnetic field have the lines closer together. So you can see in this diagram, on the left hand side we have the North Pole of the magnet. We have the lines coming out of it with the arrows pointing away from the North Pole and we have the lines close together showing that the magnetic field is much stronger at the North Pole and the South Pole than at the sides in the middle or the belly of the magnet. Okay, some uses that we have for magnets. So permanent magnets have a few different uses, but one of the ones is a magnetic door stopper. And these are used a lot in cabinets to hold the doors closed. Electromagnets can also be used as door stoppers. And when they're turned on, the magnet holds the door locked. And when they turn off, say if you were to swipe a card or enter a code, in to open a door, the electromagnet would turn off and allow you to open that door. Another use of an electromagnet is in an electromagnetic crane. These cranes can pick up metallic items 
by pulling them or attracting them to the electromagnet on the end of a crane and then turn the electromagnet off to put that object down somewhere else. The Earth also has a magnetic field. The Earth's magnetic field is caused by the iron in the mantle spinning around on the axis of the Earth. And this causes a magnetic field similar to a magnet being inside the Earth running from the North Pole to the South Pole. It's a little confusing here, but if there were a magnet in the Earth, the North Pole, the magnetic North Pole, would actually be similar to a South Pole of a magnet, and vice versa. The South Magnetic Pole would be the same as a North Pole of a magnet. The reason for this is because the North Pole Point on a compass is magnetized to have a pole of north and it points towards the north magnetic pole which is the south pole of the magnet so coming back to repelling and attracting you can see that the north magnetic pole of the compass would be attracted to the south magnetic pole of a magnet so therefore the north magnetic pole is actually south Okay, in this lesson we've covered uh, magnetism and magnets, how we draw field diagrams, a couple of ways which we can use magnets, and the magnetic field of the Earth, and how compasses uh, a, north ma uh, a magnet that seeks north.